to feel like a total idiot, get into a gigantic inflatable ball and try to walk on water. So after I was done embarrassing myself, it's not raining, it's not supposed to rain, I think this would be the perfect time to go for a hike. All right, so the only downside that I've found to this place at all is that it rains a lot. And there's nothing wrong with the raining, but when you're trying to take pictures and videos and stuff, it makes it difficult. Decided to go for a hike. It's not raining. Hopefully we'll get some cool stuff. Go team. Process without getting freaking soaking wet. Hi, not bad. I was told for sure I wasn't gonna be able to make it across without getting soaking wet. They were wrong. We're getting closer. I almost fell on my ass too. As embarrassing as it is, it would have been pretty funny if I were filming at the same time. I mean, for you guys, not for me. Man, can you imagine being a part of this? Look, there's the line up there, right? There. Look at this. Whole avalanche. All the way down. All the way down. All of this. All of that. That would suck. But look how pretty the view is. Would have been shitty, but the view's nice. I know you're probably getting tired of hearing this, but it's like you're in a freaking different country here, you know? Look at this. Waterfalls. All the way down. Out into like a beautiful valley. It's crazy. I know like Utah and uh, uh, like Idaho are really pretty. But this is like, this is pretty freaking unbelievable here. Like this is, man, I'm like blown away. I've been here for like a week and completely blown away with how beautiful it is here. It's crazy. I made it up the hill, climbed up some kind of shady rocks and look what we got. Is that pretty or what? I wonder whose house that is. It's a good view, but uh, judging from all these boulders and stuff down here, uh, I don't know how much longer that house is gonna last, but pretty well it lasts, you know? And those of you guys that follow me like on Snapchat and stuff and you see my runs, you know that I always talk about you can't get the view without the climb and you gotta push and work hard and stuff. Now, technically, there's a bunch of cars over there because they drove up here. So, you know, but you know what I mean? It's more gratifying when you put in like the hard work and stuff and your heart's beating and you're breathing all hard and you climbed up a hill and then you get to see this. One thing that always bugs me is no matter how beautiful of a place you're in, you'll always find some dip head comes up here and like litters and leaves trash and what, like what is can you even see that people bringing beer bottles and beer bottles and shit up here and how can you see this and go mm -hmm. got a drink i'm gonna my drink kiss my ass, you guys that do that not cool at all don't don't laugh at me if i fall on my ass i seriously think i'm gonna fall on my ass as long as i don't fall actually into the waterfall i think i'll be okay i mean like ego wise well i guess and physically too that doesn't look like it'd be that bad i mean it hurt but it's not like you know like niagara falls or anything here just so you know i'm going to speed this up so you can't tell how ridiculously slow i'm going down this hill 
crap. This is slippery as How can I do this while filming without falling on my... Hi, hey. Not so bad. So, we saw the waterfall. Look how pretty that is. Holy crap. So we saw the waterfall. Should we keep going up to that house? See what view we get? Or should we turn around? Dilemma, dilemma. I say go for it. Cause we're already this close. I don't know if I want to walk this again tomorrow. It might be raining. Shit, it's been raining this whole time. So, let's go up. Again, or more, whatever. Part of me wants to climb down over there and follow those tracks across that bridge. I know you can't really see it, but there's a like a little cave back there. Oh my God, I'm so tempted. Like this looks but that looks amazing. But I know if I did that, I, I would either have to keep it a secret because my wife would kill me or I would tell her my wife would kill me. So uh, we're just gonna look at it. Everybody who's married knows why I made this call. Everybody who's not married, you just think I'm a big puss. It's okay. I'm full of shit. I'm going for it. This looks safe, right? Hey! Look at that bridge. It's super sturdy. Oh my goodness. You ever look at something and you're like, kind of scared to go across? And then you cross and you go, I'm such a freaking pussy. That was me just then. I'm like, tippy toes, tippy toes. And it's like totally sturdy. I think all this uh, landslide had me freaked out. Got in my head, you know? Don't let stuff get your head. You see that? It's the rails just bloop. Adios. Right, let's go look at this cave, man. Woo, almost fell. I'm okay, don't worry. Like I know mining might be one of the worst jobs ever, but if you had to mine somewhere, I don't think this would be the worst place to mine. Scary. Right, train tracks. Aw, oh, course it's closed. What the hell? Of course it's closed. Why the hell would it be open? You know, you know why it wouldn't be open? Because dipshits like me would go in there. Man. Oh well, we did it anyways, right? We're not pussies. Guess that means it's time to keep heading up the hill. Here we go. All right, so I know you saw me just walk away there. Obviously, I'm not just leaving my camera up here, you know? That was just for, you know, a little cinematography for you all at home. But I did see this when I was walking, making it look like I was walking away, and this looks pretty freaking crazy. Like this was probably all just sturdy as hell. It just shows you, man. Mother Nature will mother F you if she wants to. Rock slides, all right, bitch. All right, here's a little fun, little Tully Ride fact for you. Tully Ride is the first city in the United States to be powered by electricity. Weird, huh? Means there was some serious money in this town. Some serious gold and silver and zinc and whatever other crap they're digging up up here. First city, like Tesla, not the car company, but the dude is like a hero here for his uh, alternate current. I don't know. Is that interesting to anybody out there? Anybody? Bueller? Bueller? I thought it was cool. Hmm. All right. Hikers and bikers may pass through gate at own risk. Stay on trail. Do not trespass onto private property. Got it. All right, we made it. 
Now let's see if, well, I was gonna say, let's see if it's worth it, but the views and the hike were freaking awesome. So even if this sucks up here, it won't matter. How freaking high up we are. Look at all those trails, see? That's what we've walked. Holy crap. Everybody's probably wondering where the hell I am. Just walking up a mountain. No biggie. All right, I'm gonna fast forward this so we can get to the good stuff. Hold on tight. All right, so we can't go to the house. But look, we got a like, satellite dish. Let me see somebody lives up here. What a freaking view, man. Holy crap. It's awesome. I mean, until the house falls down. Then it's not. All right, fast forward again. This is interesting. Warning, under Colorado law, an equine professional is not liable for an injury to or the death of a participant in equine activities resulting from the inherent risk of equine activities pursuant to blah blah blue. So that means, basically, if you're a professional horse rider giving guides and stuff on trails, uh, you could fall off this which by the looks of the things down there doesn't seem too unlikely and it's not your fault because riding a horse is inherently risky. I like that. All right, cue the beautiful music. Now, cue the super fast punk rock as we make our way up this hill to something. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Once again, cue the beautiful music. the most beautiful hikes I've ever been on in my life but it's about three o'clock probably take me an hour and a half or so to get back down to the car and I don't want my people thinking that I fell off a cliff so it's been fun so I'm gonna head back down right now So it turns out, after all that climbing, the, the three hours of the climbing up the hill, and the, it's an amazing climb. I don't wanna take anything away from that, but it turns out I was relatively close to this beautiful lake at the top of the mountain. So what does that mean? It means first thing in the morning, I'm heading back up. 